If you'd like to see how I'm going to transform these miniature little wine bottles into sparkly, glamorous bottles like these, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube, so today in this video, I'm going to be adding some pink and red glitter to these little small wine bottles that I have. These came in a set of four and I just never used them. And these I just bought separately, I think from the Dollar Tree. No, not Dollar Tree. I bought these from Dollar General because I figured I could just do something with them. So these are going to be for Valentine's Day baskets I'm making. I'm just trying to think of like the cutest little stuff I can to put in these baskets. Okay, so today I am going to be using some Mod Podge glue. Mod Podge glue is what I'm going to be using to apply the glitter to the bottles. And I have like a two inch sponge brush and I've already poured out some in this lid. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. This glitter is just a red and then this one is called purple pink, but it's not purple, but it, it's holographic and it's like so pretty. I got this glitter from papermart.com. I also like to use either old makeup blush brush or just a big soft brush to knock off the excess glitter. Now you can mask off the label if you want to. I don't like to deal with masking. I just don't want, I don't feel like it. And plus, I'm not the best masker. So I'd rather just kind of hold my hand steady and go around the label using the tip of the sponge brush. And just make sure that the glue is smooth. Because if not, it's going to be clumpy when you add your glitter. Okay, so what I'm doing is taking my sponge brush and just carefully going along the whole bottle with a decent amount of glue, making sure that it's as smooth as possible. And like I said, I don't do any masking. I just like to try to go as straight as I can around the label. And if I get any glitter on the label, I can just wipe it off. Now what I'm doing is pouring on the glitter and I'm making sure that I'm covering all of the Mod Podge glue that I applied to the bottle. This color is so pretty and it has hints of other colors in it, which is why it's a holographic glitter. This is actually one of my favorite colors. Okay, so this is the first coat of the first bottle. Now I'm going to move on to the second bottle. Now what you see me doing is adding the glue on to the second bottle. Then I'll add the glitter and I'll do the same for the rest of the bottles as well. The other two bottles will be red like I showed you before. And again, these are going to be for Valentine's Day. Um, these are going to be for Valentine's Day baskets I'm making specifically for a couple people. These bottles can be customized to match your party theme or they can be gifts for someone's birthday. I just think they're so adorable. They're nice and small and you can literally make them any color that you decide to do. This is just the first coat. I always go back over and do a second coat. If you're short on glitter, or if you just don't feel the need to use a second coat of glitter, then you absolutely don't have to. It just depends on how you want the look to come out. 
Also, if this is your first time using Mod Podge, it does dry clear. So I say give at least 20 to 30 minutes in between your coats before you add the second one. Okay, so I'm going to allow this bottle to dry as well for about 20 to 30 minutes or overnight because it is late. Also, I was just thinking, I do understand that a lot of gifts that involve liquor, what about the people who don't drink or the, the, that involve wine? There's people who don't drink and don't care to drink and don't find it interesting at all. I don't drink, but I think the bottles are just cute. So, in place of something like this, you could do a glass Coca-Cola bottle. I did one of those before in a video a while ago and it was really cute. And someone in the comments said that they appreciate that I did that because not everyone drinks alcohol. So that's something else that you can do. Um, you can do a glass Sprite bottle. I don't think Pepsi has glass bottles, you know, the cute bottles. But there's other different things, or maybe if someone likes iced tea, you could just spruce it up and just make it cute. So it's not always about alcohol beverages being added. So I just wanted to just throw that out there. This is a product called Tri Art Liquid Glass. It's a liquid uh, pouring medium that you can use on paint canvases and for other things that you want to like kind of clear coat. I think it gives a better shine than my Podge does. This is completely optional. If you don't have any of this or you don't want to purchase this product, then just use Mod Podge. But I suggest when you use Mod Podge, mix it with a little bit of the glitter so it kind of holds on to the shine a little better. I'll let this dry probably overnight, but a, a couple hours should be fine in front of a fan. And if you still have a little bit of glitter fall off, what you can do is do two or three coats of it. Usually one or two coats is what I do, usually one and it's okay. I pour it on because it's kind of like a watery consistency, as you can see it kind of spills all over the place. So for me, I just kind of move kind of quickly with it and I just kind of pour it all over. So these are pretty much finished and I'm going to reveal them to you at the end of the video. Okay you guys, here is the final finished result. 
of these Sutter Home and Gallo Family miniature wine bottles that I'm going to use as little party favors or uh, basket fillers. And these bottles are, they're very small, but they're so cute. I got these from the grocery store. I really like this pink and red together. Red is fabulous. This just looks very, very fabulous. That pink is adorable. And you guys, let me know which color you like the best. These are just cute. I don't mean, I, what can I say? Look at them. And they have a nice shine. Um, I guess what I'll have to do is compare something glittered that was sealed with Mod Podge versus something that was glittered with the liquid glass. I have something that I could probably uh, do to kind of compare that, but I just prefer the liquid glass. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video or found it helpful or useful. Share it on Facebook if you'd like to. And if you are subscribed, make sure that you do hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I do upload a video. And thanks again, you guys, for watching. And remember to follow me on Instagram if you'd like to. It's at life is a whole vibe with underscores in between each word. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. Check out our website, myworldradiance.com, where we sell lip gloss, hand sanitizers, shoe charms, and much more. Use my coupon code ROYALBEAUTY10 off for a special discount for my subscribers. Be sure to check out our website, crtechnicaldefense.com, where we sell in waistband gun holsters available in four different sizes. We also carry gun cleaning mats and much more. Use my special discount code VIBES, V I B E S, for my subscribers. Be sure to check out my playlist I have on this channel. You'll find more interesting videos like the one you just watched today. Thanks again. Bye bye.